So how exactly does the DNA look like? Craig and Watson, after using the information, the initial information pro provided by Rosalind Franklin, worked out that in a DNA molecule, there are two strands. So two strands looking this way. Okay, These strands are twisted around each other. So instead of being two straight strands, they are twisted around each other. They call around each other to form a double helix, as you can see here. They are twisted around each other to form a double helix. So the first point is that there are two strands. Second point is that the strands are not straight, as you see here, but rather they are called around each other to form a double helix. Now the strands are held together by base pairs. The strands are held together by base pairs. So let me use this straight one to explain. The base pairs hold the two ends together. They pair themselves holding the two ends together like a ladder. Okay, when you take a ladder that is used in climbing, the central parts hold the two ends together. The same applies to the DNA. But the only difference is that with the DNA, the strands are not straight, but instead they are coiled. Now there are four bases. We have A, T, C, and G. The A is called the adenine. N I N E. T is called the thymine. M I N E. C is a cytosine. And then G is the guanine or the guanine. So these are the four base pairs. It is important to know just the first letters. Now, A always pairs with a T. So where, where, wherever you see an A, it is joined by a T. Wherever you see a C, it bonds with a G. Okay, so the base pairs are four, but they work in pairs. A always works with T, C always works with a G.